Welcome back. This year is an El Nino year, which in the past has brought rising and falling snow levels to the Cascades. We talked to employees at Hoodoo who have seen the fluctuations over the years and what they have done to make ends meet. In the recent past, a La Nina pattern has brought quite the snowpack to the Cascades. Roger Farrell, ski lift mechanic at Hoodoo Ski Area for 16 seasons, says some of the past few years have been the best. Last, last year was a pretty good year. Um, actually, surprisingly, you know, we had a fair amount of storms, good snowfall, um, not a whole lot of rain days, which was really nice, um, which kept the, the snowpack really good. Consistent cold air and sufficient moisture during a La Nina pattern allows for the snow to really pile up. But El Nino years can bring varying snow levels to the Cascades. Those rising and falling snow levels can greatly impact snowpacks, which in return impact winter recreation like Hudu Ski Area and Sisters. Over the years, they have been on both ends of this spectrum, with really heavy snowfall some years and virtually nothing others. That's probably the worst one we've had was, I think we were open for 13, maybe 14 days of operation. And uh, it wasn't a very good year. It was a pretty low season. Um, the following season was, we were open more, but it was uh, a lot wetter. In order to operate in the winter, Hoodoo Ski Area has to have a base of around 20 inches of snow. Once they have it, they are open for the season. It, it all depends on the, the type of snow, the, the weather conditions, whether we can make it work or not. But, you know, as soon as there's enough snow on the ground, if it's a solid enough base, we'll start working with it. But just because they reach that threshold doesn't mean it's smooth sailing for the remainder of the season. If snow levels rise and fall from inconsistencies between warm and cold air masses, like what is common in El Nino years, this requires more maintenance of the runs, even closure if there's freezing rain rather than snow. Some of the worst years only allowed Hoodoo to open for a few weeks, but they still managed to have a successful year. So no matter the forecasts, they are still preparing for a good season on the mountain.